three people each thinking of a number which is a product of two different primes. The product of the three numbers which are thought of could be three different people thinking of each thinking of one number. Each of those numbers is a product of two primes. Then we multiply the three numbers. What could the product could be? And it sounds like a really big question. And so some of these questions where it seems like you're not you are used to living in a world where it says find this number, calculate the average, find the largest possible, write this differently. So all those are routine questions. This you don't even understand this question. And then the answer is also the question also which of these could be? That means only one of these could be. The other three will not be. Something is wrong with them that it doesn't fit into this criteria. What are the criteria? Three people there. And each of them thinks of one number. Each of those numbers is a product of two primes. So I'm going to say, let's say the first person thinks of two numbers. P1, P2. Why am I writing P1, P2? They are prime numbers. P prime, P1, P2. Second person thinking of P3, P4. When I write P3, P4, I mean P3 into P4. P1 into P2. This is one number. This is one number. This is the third number. And so first person thinks of P1 into P2. Second person thinks of P3 into P4. Third person thinks of P5 into P6. Where P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6 are all primes. Product of two primes is a number. Product of two primes is a number. Product of two primes is a number. P1 into P2 into P3 into P4 into P5 into P6 could be one of these. That means it cannot be the other three. Only one of these is a possible answer. He's not saying it should be. Quite likely there are many. I could have P1, P2 as 2, 3, 11 and 13, 17 and 19. That will work. Right? So there are many possible answers for what it could be. But only one of these four is a possible answer. The other three are not possible. We'll obviously have to go step by step and look at this number. I'm going to rephrase this question. Could the product be 120? I have a scenario where with P1, P2 sitting here, P3, P4 sitting there, P5, P6 sitting there, I multiply all of this P1 into P2 into P3 into P4 into P5 into P6 and that product is equal to 120. So, so and like all oh, several questions that you're likely to see in number system, number theory, it starts with prime factorization. Fine. So you should, you should learn this art of looking at numbers in terms of their prime factorization. And so I'm going to start off by looking at 120. What do I do? I take 120. You can write it like this and divide and go. I'm not going to do that. 120 is 12 into 10. 10 is 2 into 5. 12 is 4 into 3. Or 2 square into 3 into are trying to do non-routine questions. So you need to figure out mechanisms where your the, the mathematical understanding is intuitive, it's natural, it's clear in your mind. And also the mechanical part you're able to do quickly. You cannot say 12 is 2 into 6, then 2 into 2 into 3. You say 12 is 4 into 3, 2 2 into 3, 2 square into 3. 10 is 2 into 5. So finally what do we have? 2 cube into 3 into 5. I have to put this into three boxes. It's like I have three twos with me, a three and a five. So I can put a two here, a three here, and a five here. I have two more twos. I'll put one here, one here. I'm not saying this is how it will be, but I can distribute like this the three numbers. But hey, we have a problem. We are told each of the three numbers is a product of two different primes. In this case, we don't have room for a second different prime here. 3 and 5 are here. Then 2 is here. Maybe I can put another 2 here. But I don't have room for another different prime here. Or 120 cannot be the answer. I cannot have 120 as a product of these three numbers which satisfy this condition. The product of two different primes. Or if you think about it, right now, right about this time, you should be saying, okay, what kind of product will work? Started with trial and error. You have started by saying, okay, I'm going to try 120, see if 120 works. But the moment you go ahead trying 120, you should immediately be saying, okay, 120 didn't work. Why didn't it work? Or what might work? Can I find a method for what could work? Or then you can skip up several steps and jump to the answer. What will work? I need to have six primes straight away. So I want P1, P2, 
P3, P4, P5, P6. Straight away this is saying my six primes need not be distinct. If this number had been 2 cube into 3 into 5 into 7, that would have worked. So you can have 2 cube into 3 into 5 into 7. 2 and 3, 2 and 5, 2 and 7. That works. So my P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6 need not be distinct. I could have P1 repeating. I can have a 2 cube. But I am in the end having 2 primes here, 2 primes here, 2 primes here. So when I prime factorize, when I think of it as 2 cube into 3 into 5, if I think of it as 3 2s, a 3 and a 5, I am not going to think of it as 3 primes, I am going to think of it as 5 prime factors. 2, 2, 2, 3, 5. Like that, I need to have 6 because I am going to put 2 in a box, 2 in a box, 2 in a box. Let's not add up to 6 and put 2, 2. A beautiful way of verifying. So I can prime factorize this and I look at all the primes, all the powers. If I have 6 primes, then I can do it. If I do not have 6 primes, I cannot do it. In 120, there are only 5 primes. 120 is divisible by only 3 primes, 2, 3 and 5. But I am saying 5 primes because there is a 2 cube sitting there. 2 is there 3 times and then a 3 and then a 5. So 2, 2, 2, 3, 5. I am breaking it like that. And I still have only 5. I need to have 6. Therefore, 120 doesn't work. Now, let's look at 121, 0, 0. 1, 2, 1, 0, 0. 121 is 11 square. I know that. Into 100, which is 10 square. So, it is 11 square into 2 square into 5 square. 10 is 2 into 5. Lovely. 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6. This seems to work. Brilliant. But how do I put the individual primes? I cannot say that the first guy have 11 and 11, the second guy have 2 and 2, third guy have 5 and 5. I cannot have 11 square, 2 square, 5 square. Why not? Because I have different primes sitting here. So I will put 11 into 2 here, 2 into 5 here, 5 into 11 here. Two different primes, two different primes, two different primes. Brilliant. So if it adds up to 6, I can squeeze it in some form. I can figure out a mechanism do this. So, 12100 0, 0 works. What is the condition we have? Prime factorize it. In the prime factorization, if I think of square of a prime as 2 primes, cube of a prime as 3 primes, adds up to 6. I totally have 6 primes to deal with. Good to go. Right? Will all combinations of having 6 primes work? Or is there one other condition that we are missing? Think about that. So, but 12100 0, 0 works. Now let's check these two out. Mathematicians, if I know B works, I want to tell myself C and D don't work. I don't want to leave that there. So let's try it. What am I going to do? I'm going to do 240. I'm going to take 240 and prime factorize it. 240 is 24 into 10. 10 is 2 into 5. 240 is 4 into 6. 24 is 4 into 6. 2 square into 2 into 3. Or this is 2 power 4 into 3 into 5. Ooh, the powers add up to 6, so this should also work. It looks like 240 also works. Powers add up to 6. That's what we thought the main criteria. Now so think about how this can work. I put 2 in 1, 3 in 1, 5 in 1. Make this 3 into 2. Make this 5 into 2. I still have one more prime left, but unfortunately for me, that prime is a 2. I put here, still have 2 primes all right but not two different primes. So, if I have a prime power 4, I am in trouble. Somewhere, there will be a square of that prime. I can put 1, 1, but I still be two left with 2 remaining. That can't work. So, that's the other condition. So, the power should add up to 6. That's number 1. Number 2, nowhere should we have a 4. We cannot have 2 power 4, then it won't work. And I cannot create a pot that has two different primes. It has two primes, but they are both 2. That doesn't work. Which is why 240 does not work. 3000. 3000 is 3 into 1000. 1000 is 10 cube. 3 into 2 cube to 5 cube. I am deliberately not writing this as 2 into 1500, 2 into 2 into 750, 2 into 2 into 2 into 375 and going step by step. That is the traditional way. Find each prime, isolate it, go step by step, divide all the 2s first, then the 3s, then 5s. The problem with that, I can think of a 10 as 2 into 5, 
1000 s2 cube into 5 cube done in one step but if i do that long division method i'll locate all the twos then i'll be dividing by a set of fives whereas thinking like this is very easy and so your 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 mathematicians are trying to do non routine questions your methods also need to be intuitive non routine so don't do it by the same old long division method especially one where you take all the twos then all the threes then all the fives doesn't work 2 into 5 is 10 extracting a 10 is so easy so easy three zeros here 1000 1000 is 2 cube into 5 cube what is remaining three you done now this has seven primes in it impossible so i put it in three pots suppose i put 2 into 5 here again 2 into 5 here again 2 into 5 here i still have a three remaining that has to go somewhere and wherever it goes that number will be a product of three different primes it won't work my condition is not satisfied or this also doesn't work 120 doesn't work 12100 or 12100 12100 that is the only possibility that can potentially satisfy this condition which is why that statement itself is which of these could be the right answer which which has a potential of being the right answer. they're not saying find the right answer he's saying of these four only one is even possible that the three are not possible so this question is beautiful because you have to find the one that is possible the approach for that is go step by step but don't just go mechanically step by step the moment you try out 120 Your mind should say, "Okay, 120 didn't work. What kind of number will work? Why didn't 120 work? Because I have two, three twos, a three and a five. Two, 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 three, five. If I think of two cube as three primes, two, 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 and a three and a five, I still have only five primes. I need to have six. We need P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6. P1 and P3 can be same. P4 and P6 can be same. But I can have even if I count like that, I need six primes. So which is five primes." 3 2 so 3 and a 5 i cannot manage it okay super now i'll prime pack try and i'm looking for 6 primes this satisfies the condition i tried whether it works it does indeed work we're good to go 240 has 6 primes 4 2 so 3 and a 5 but i cannot accommodate 4 2s because i can put 1 2 in one box 1 2 in one box the third box will end up having 2 2s i need to have two different primes that's where that collapses so you add that condition keep that in mind so you can go with trial and error step by step but your mind should continuously be seeking method beauty in solving these questions is you go from trial and error to method method to trial and error and keep improving how you can find solution that's very crucial Hush.